Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is Wicked Jester 93, and I've got a new series. Uh, may not be new to you. Uh, I've had it for a couple months, and I'm going to tell you guys, I thought I had the whole kit, but apparently I only have four of them. Uh, if you see the stickers, a lot of my videos, you'll see these stickers. Uh, I do find a lot of oddball cars down at Ollie's. And um, these are the Matchbox 70 Year Special Edition. And each one of them have a signature on them. So let's get into it. We're going to start numerically because I've got one, two, three, four. I do not have five. So let's get into it. So this is the first one. See if we can get it to zoom here. Oh, sorry about that. So all of them have that orange collar. You can see it says Porsche 911 Turbo. I thought they were signatures, but I guess it's just the name of the car. See if I can show you how the cars look. I know it's a little bit hard on card, but I'm not taking these out of the card. Or taking them off the card, rather. It's got the headlights with some tape over it. I believe these are like actual, supposed to be like, actual race cars or at least this one is there's not a whole lot of details on the back of this thing just again it shows you it's one of five um it is what they're moving parts so if you actually took them out you can close the door probably open the hood or i guess if this is a porsche the hood the, <laughs> the hood's back here because they're mid-engine but it's a fantastic looking car it doesn't really say what year it is now, if you guys know down in the comments, let me know what the actual year of, if this was a real car, what year car would it be? So let's set this one aside and let's look at number two. Now, I'm not a Porsche fan in real life. I don't dislike them. I've just never had Porsche money. Um, so I've been more of a Chevy Mustang Dodge guy. And this, this Corvette, I think is fantastic looking. It's a 2020 Corvette. Now, if I were to buy one in real life, it would not be this orange collar. Now, I am a fan of orange. Um, I'm a hunter, and blaze orange is a collar that most hunters have to wear for legal purposes. They hate it, but I actually like blaze orange. Uh, not the, you know, vests and stuff. But anyways, I like orange, right? Um, I had a 2004 competition orange Mach 1, which was a different orange than this. All I'm getting at is, as much as I like orange, I would not rock an orange Corvette like this. Um, mine would probably be black or like that dark blue collar. But I'll show you, this is also a mid-engine car. Can't really see much from there. Again, the backs don't really show you a whole lot, just shows you it's a 2020 Corvette. Actually, you know what? We'll go back to this real quick. It's a 19, see if I can get it to zoom. Come on. It is a 1980 Corvette. I missed that a minute ago, but I noticed on the Corvettes. So there's what the top of it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful car. Number three is the Hummer EV. It's a 2022 Hummer EV. When these first, when I first saw these things, I thought, man, that would be really cool to have for hunting. Because if you're driving out to your spot, an EV would be a whole lot quieter than a diesel or even an ICE engine. But man, the infrastructure is not here yet, at least not where I'm at. And just the prices are ridiculous. I have a 2012 Ram 2500, and I just cannot, an EV truck cannot replace my truck yet. They don't have the range, they don't have, they have the towing capacity, but when you, when you start towing them, it kills their range. And I just can't replace what I have in my truck, so I'm not willing to spend a hundred thousand dollars on a truck that can't even do what my uh, what twelve year old truck can do. But I love the look of them. I love the idea of them. If we just get to a part where EVs are actually more practical, and again, you guys, you can hear me talking about wanting one. I'm not knocking them. I just don't think the technology is quite there yet. Elon's doing some great things with the Teslas and stuff, but it's still not. When it comes to trucks. You're, I can't replace my diesel with an electric truck yet. I thought maybe the Ford Lightning was going to be it, but then the story's coming out of towing boats and stuff, and you're getting like a 100-mile range, or that might be an exaggeration, but you get it. Anyways, let me show you the truck. It's got like a panoramic top, I think. 
you can't really tell much on these, but it is all black. Um, it, you know, that would be your frunk because there's not an engine in these. And it's got a little bed on it. So it's a cool looking little truck. Um, if you watch my channel long enough, so if you hit that subscribe button, you'll see more. <laughs> you'll see I do have a couple more of these uh, uh, Hummer EVs in main lines that are not, you know, they're not this 70th anniversary uh, edition. And they, I think they look better than this, honestly. So last but not least is going to be the Mazda MX. It's a 2021. Now, one of the things I didn't really pay attention, I really kind of like the orange around the wheels. All the wheels are kind of generic, but they, I like that orange. Show you the top of it. Can't really see down inside the back of this thing. There's what the front of it looks like. It's a it's a small SUV. I think this might even be a crossover. I'm not 100% sure. I've seen them in person, but I can't really remember if it's the size of an SUV or if it's a crossover. But I'm sure somebody down in the comments can tell me. And guys, that's it for these. Um, we're going to try to put out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Um, my videos are not just going to be car videos, but they will be kind of nerdy stuff, right? So for now, we're doing the car videos because that's what I'm set up to do. Um, I am going to be doing some live streaming. Uh, when NCAA Football 25 comes out next month, I will be streaming a lot of it live. Um, I've got some other games that I'll be playing here soon. They'll be up on the channel, and I haven't decided if I'm only going to play them live or if I do pre-recorded stuff. But if you like nerd culture stuff, diecast cars, Funko Pops, uh, gaming, that kind of stuff, man, hit that subscribe button and, and you know come along on this journey with us. Uh, if you like the video, much appreciated if you hit the like. If you have seen number five, <laughs> if you guys see number five anywhere, tell me because I'd like to pick it up. I typically, if I go to the store and I see a whole series of cars, if I can't pick up the whole series, I won't buy any of them. I know that sounds silly, but that's that's my, my tism is acting up whenever I see things like that. And that's why I thought I had the fifth one, but when I went through look, digging through all these, I can't find it, so I must not have. But if you like what I'm doing here, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.